boys and girls, Miss Gemma here, how are you? In today's lesson, we're going to talk about mass. Ooh, so what is mass? Mass is the measure of how much matter is in an object. Now matter is just the substance that we're made of. Okay, that's all that is. This remains the same all of the time. Whereas weight is the measure of how heavy or light an object is. This can change due to the amount of gravity surrounding the object. So for an example, there is no gravity on the moon, so objects weigh a lot less than on Earth. So while on Earth, mass and weight are usually the same. Now just let's go into some of the tools that we may use to measure our weight. So G, which stands for gram, is the smallest unit. And a thousand grams equals one kilo. Kg stands for kilogram, being a little bigger. One thousand kilograms equals one ton. And T, which stands for ton, being the biggest unit of mass. Okay, boys and girls, so in this lesson, we're just going to talk about one kilo, okay? So these are items that you would find in your, in your kitchen cupboard, okay? So let's have a look. So what have we got here? So this is plain flour. So most homes have plain flour. So if we just look for this, this symbol here, see the one kilo? Should we check to make sure that we get we've got one kilo, boys and girls? So to do that, I need this tool which we call kitchen scales. Now this has a dial that actually goes all the way to 10 kilos, but we're only going to look at one kilo today. So we'll put this on. And then the, the needle moves to tell me how much the, the flour weighs. Okay, so let's have a look. So it stopped. So we're actually getting just over one kilo. So we're getting our money's worth, boys and girls. Okay, some other items that you might recognize in your house is the sugar. So down here, it says one kilo. And then finally, if you eat porridge, this is what porridge is made of, boys and girls, oats. So in this case, just you can just see it down here at the bottom, it says, one kilo. Should we go and weigh some real items now? Okay, let's go. So now, boys and girls, it's your turn to try and use this tool. Okay, so what can we weigh? What can we weigh? <gasps> let's try the bananas, shall we? Okay, let's, let's have a look. Okay, so let's try these. So we'll put these. No, that's not enough. We need some more. These bananas are a bit big, boys and girls. Okay. Oh, that's over one kilo. So that's too many bananas. Let's see how much these ones weigh. So let's just put these ones over here. Okay. Let's see how much these three weigh. Oh, it's getting closer. We'll try one more, see if that helps. That's almost one kilo, boys and girls. So these four bananas were almost a kilo. So they're about 950, 950 grams. But these five bananas, with these, right, these really big ones, were over a kilo. Hmm, I wonder what else we can weigh, boys and girls. Let me have a look and come back to you. Okay, so we've tried the bananas. Let's try something different this time. Something that you've got at home, potatoes. So I have some potatoes here. Let's see how much they weigh. So we're almost at half a kilo now. That's over one kilo, boys and girls. So let me just take this potato off. 
So we're not going to get exactly a kilo, so we've got just under a kilo, but if I add this one potato, it takes it just over a kilo. Hmm. I think we should try one more thing, boys and girls. Let me have a look and see what I can find. Okay, our last thing for this lesson, boys and girls. I found some peanuts, a bag of peanuts. I wonder how much they weigh. So this is going to be messy. So I'm just going to put the whole bag onto the scales. So I don't think the bag will, will weigh anything, okay? Not enough to worry about anyway, boys and girls. All right, so let's see here. Just make sure they're all in the tray. Nothing's trying to escape. Okay, so let's see. We've got just over a kilo, boys and girls. Just over a kilo. So that's a pretty good score, isn't it? Now, boys and girls, have you seen what's inside of a peanut? Can I quickly show you? Okay, let me show you. Okay, so that's what one peanut looks like. Then we break it in half. Inside, we've got the peanut that's got its skin still on it. And this one's without its, broken in half. This one's without its skin. So peanut. So let's do a quick review of what we've done in this lesson so far, boys and girls. So firstly, we talked about household items that weighed one kilo. So things that were in your kitchen cupboards. And then we used the kitchen scales as a tool to measure other items. So we did the bananas, and we did that twice, depending on how many bananas we had and what size the bananas were. So we had a first lot that was just over a kilo, and then we had a second lot that was just under a kilo. And then we did the potatoes, and then we did the peanuts. So what is mass? Mass is the measure of how much matter is in an object. Remember, matter is the substance that makes up the object. And this remains the same all the time. Whereas weight is the measure of how heavy or light an object is. This can change due to the amount of gravity surrounding the object. So for example, there is no gravity on the moon, so objects weigh a lot less than they do on Earth. So while on Earth, mass and weight are usually the same. Boys and girls, there is a worksheet available that asks you to find objects from around the house and to allow you to practice estimating and weighing the items just like we did in this lesson. You did a terrific job, boys and girls. Now that you know a bit more about mass and how to weigh objects, your next lesson could be to learn about 3D shapes and their nets. I think it has something to do with the flat shape turning it into a 3D shape. Come and join me and find out some more, and I'll see you in our next lesson.